Hello and welcome back to another episode of Supermarket Simulator with me, Tops. Last episode we left off, we customised the sign. We customised the interior, or we started to, we've got the floor to do still. And we have started upgrading the shelving to the high rack shelving, which I've done all of the refrigeration items. I've still not done any of the frozen items because there's only two of them at the moment. Uh, all of the shelved items and some of the freezer items as well being the... The multi packs of chicken. Um, yeah, everything got restocked as we were away. Uh, we should start getting some customers coming into the store soon as well. We've already got one in there. Okay. Uh, and we're basically on our way to expanding the store, but we need to pay off the loans first. I kind of took out more loans to make sure. I literally had 87 cents left at the start of the day. And I needed to re -rack the ra do the racks and get a few more items uh, that I completely forgot to do last time. So we did that. Um, we need to pay off this loan as soon as we can, which is 5250 So hopefully, as soon as we get that, we can pay that off. And we should be good for the rest of the rest of the day. Uh, and we'll be able to pay the rest of the loans off as well. Uh, we do want to expand the store this way a little bit more. Uh, once we've expanded the store, we can get our next cashier in. Um, once we've got our next cashier in as well, um, we can also then get, obviously, get more shelving units. Uh, I think we need more freezer units as well. Uh, so we can have a bit of a reshuffle with everything in the store as well. But it's a big, long-winded way to go about it. There's a lot of stuff we need to get done. And it'll take a while. And um, we start getting customers now as well, which is good. Now, I have noticed that a lot more customers since the update has started doing cash. Which is okay, but it gets annoying when they do 100 or give you 200 for like $100 worth of items. But it, they, then we have the odd person that does the perfect amount of money. Is also good. Um, I'm hoping to get about to have about 6,000 in the bank by the end of the day to be able to pay off that bill, the bank uh, balance. Uh, and then that will also give us some money tomorrow to do some restocking as well. Um, I literally... So, they still don't restock the shelves entirely full. So, I do automa I do go around ma manually and restock some of the shelves as well when we need to. Um, but we've got three restockers, which is good at the moment. We need to upgrade the stock room to be able to get another stock manager, a uh, stock uh, person. But yeah. It might be a while, to be fair, till we end up getting our next stock person. We might just end up expanding the store. Uh, a doctor's person, sorry. And keeping ourselves because we want more customers coming in but at the same time more customers are not coming through to need a fourth till because they're hardly got using the three that we've got at the moment so i might even remove one of the stock one of the till people save a little bit of money maybe we'll see you get in two different types of water There's a lot of stuff as well it's not bad 85, 25, there we go. Now we've got enough to pay off the bill. Pay that loan off early. These loans we pay 500 in total for the day for these payment, loan payments. Um, but obviously the more money we get, the quicker we can pay these off as well. Uh, and obviously we're waiting on getting, we need to get stock in as well in the next day. So we'll always look at getting the stock in for the next day first. Uh, we'll get the stock in for the next day first. Once we've got the stock in on the next day. Um, is when we see how much we've got in the morning. If we can pay off our bill completely. Because like I could pay off the $700 one in a few minutes. Um... Like probably right now I could pay that off but then we might not have enough money tomorrow to get our items so we'll leave it for now 
the nice amount, 110. And we just slowly get through as many customers as we can. 99.75, there we go. $95 exactly as well. We had a few extra things on there. Nice. 155. And we have all our bills paid at the moment as well, so that is another good bonus for us. But yeah, literally we paid all the bills off. We paid, we stocked everything we could. But then I wanted to rechange the items, so then I ended up taking out the loans and... Anyway, now we're about 2,000 in the bank. Which is good for us. Means we can restock in the morning, pay off our $500 will be all towards bills. Um, oh, there's a lot of water there that needs restocking. Hopefully someone gets to that. I know I've reshuffled everything around in the storeroom, but hopefully they still know where everything is. Okay. First time in a while I've seen shelves starting to go bare. I remember when we started the store and we would have a few items go to like really low. But then we wouldn't restock throughout the day. But now obviously we've got the people to restock throughout the day. It should be a lot better for us in the long run. Yeah. Alright, it's getting towards the end of the night now, so everyone should start finishing up. It looks like we are probably out of one of the one or two of the waters, or both waters. Why would it just be one or two when there's only two we sell, so it would be both? Makes more sense. Makes more sense, yeah. Gonna finish off the day with nearly three thousand in the bank, which is great. Might be able to pay off the 750 loan in the morning. Get some more customers coming through our tills. To be fair though, if the what if there's less items on the shelves. There we go, you just come build up three waters out of one box. To be fair though, I want the I want the boxes to be run out in there so I can get the new stock in. And then once all the new stock's in, it'll be all fresh and Yeah, it makes more sense that way. Yeah. So basically when we buy new items, they go straight onto the shelves, the one item goes into here. Um, and that will fill up what is needed. There's also some stuff over there that the shelves start. All the shelves are starting to look bare, to be fair. So that might just mean we have a lot of <laughs> items we're going to have to purchase uh, and restock. These are our last three customers. Looks so. Uh, especially when we get the next upgrade. I hope it's this way. It'll be annoying if it's this way, but I hope it's this way so we can get the extra fridge space so we can put the fridges down the aisle. So we can put the sushi next to there, then put probably the meals. I probably have to still have the water. Oh, and the meat as well. Yeah, we'll figure that all out. I'm doing it on stock in here. Yeah, that water's empty. That water's empty. We can only just about see. Yeah, there you go. So that water's empty. That water's empty. That sushi can go... That box, or is it that box? No. Can't empty that box out yet. Anyway. Finish up the end of the day. 59 customers. 
1,400 profit, not bad. Oil, cheese, and egg. So it would be one of the cheeses. Oh, it was the one I found straight away. I've got five. All these should be reasonable already. Um, egg. Egg. That one. Go up to five. Egg's fine. And then oil. Which oil was it? Was it this oil? Oh, that's right. Then it must have been this oil. There we go. Right. Let me get everything restocked in here because we are starting to run dry on some of these shelves. Um, and then I'll bring you all back once everything is restocked. And welcome back. So everything has now been restocked again. We still have $45 in the bank, and that is after restock and bills payments as well. Uh, the hope today is, for this day, we can pay off this 615 we need to pay that off. And we just obviously see how we do with the rest of uh, the day, with the billings and stuff. Um, but yeah, the shop's now open. We're just waiting on uh, customers to come through, get to the checkouts, and we'll go from there. I like how I, I paused there as if nothing was going to happen. I just, yeah, nothing is going to happen, but we just have to wait. Um, I did buy a bit more products than we needed. If that's all the chips gone, then or the fries, which, yeah, I think it will be. Oh, no, still got a lot of, we still got fries coming through. It's okay. We'll let the customers come through the tills now. We'll get everything through, get the bills, well, get the one loan paid off. And then once we've got the second loan paid off, all we are doing is getting the profits. We need, to think, 10,000 for the next unlock. Let's have a look. So, management, growth. We need 11,000, then 16,500, and then 20,000. So that is basically, we need 20, we need about 50,000 to get the next unlock, area unlocks. Which is going to take a little bit of a while to do so. But we can get that done. Takes our time, but that's what just what we do. $6.50 change. There we go. Nice to see more was get into my checkout, which is them, which is good. Keeps me busy. Keeps me going throughout the day. The restockers take a while now, so we definitely need to get that fourth restocker. But to do that, we need to get an extension on the area and then get another four or so um, shelving units. So, it's something we can't do right now, but it will be something we can do in the future. Um, if we unlock, if this area is the next unlock, I might see about getting some stuff in there. Uh, or maneuvering around some shelves. I've had an idea about maneuvering around some shelves over there. And getting some more freezers there. It's just a matter of, obviously, how much shelving space do we have? I think we've only got one got one shelf space there. Two, one shelf space there, that's two. Um, and I just don't know what the items are. I think there's three frozen and then... Three frozen... Three shelves items, possibly? But obviously, we definitely need, no. We need the money for that when we get to there. Uh, we we need the, the new area unlocked. To be fair, before we get that done, um, that person's going to come to my till. Oh, maybe not. Pay that loan off early. So then the rest of the money today is going to be for tomorrow, which might even mean we'll be able to pay off the loan tomorrow as well, the next loan. But we'll see what happens. 
You're just going to wait and go through all these, get the, through the next day, get the next restart going. And we'll be there in no time. It is a slow burn. It is a slow, a very slow burn. Um, I don't even, I can't remember how many times, we, how long we've had the shop open for either. Even so. You didn't have a shop that literally started to lend every item straight away, did you? Oh, you, you've given us 200, you want 100 change. That makes complete sense. Just don't give us the extra 100. Unless it was a tip, and if it was a tip, we would have gladly kept it, but we're not allowed to in the game. Any 6.75, there we go. A steady flow of customers today. Any 8.75, there we go. Can you imagine if we had to add tax to all this as well, how insane that would get? Uh, 98.75 And then 83 Everything's doing alright Let's get the lights on for the night Yeah The big freezer was definitely a good shout for the chicken Chicken definitely needed a big freezer. We could kind of attempt to have a shuffle around at the, in a second. Right. I want to try and shuffle these about so we have a bit less... So there's still a gap. Okay. Thirty two. Uh, twenty one seven five. Shuffle this over. Don't know. We don't want to re change the price. We just want to shuffle them back a little bit. I shuffle this back a little bit. Just want to move these over here some a little bit, and then that'll get, give us a little bit more space for things. Okay, and then that one we can put. There. Two dot fifty. There you go. It freezes up the freezer, the space for extra freezes over this side. So we could get two extra, an extra freezer or two here. Well, we could definitely get two extra freezers there, and maybe shelves on the other side of it. So if we literally squeeze everything in, that'll be good for us. So we literally get freezers here, and then on this side we'll have shelves. Um. How many freezer stuff do we have though? I think it's three. Not 
market manage licenses. So I think three freezer, three shelf. I would technically have two shelves at the moment. So we'd only need a single shelf. You could put one item on there, one item on there, and then get in one single shelf. Uh, and then get the three freezers here. Well, that's something to cross to when we do that. We got 1,500 profit. Sugar, cheese, water. Down to 275. Uh, something cheese water. Sugar. Sugar, cheese, water. And I think it was the red cheese. No, was it the Parmesan? No. Was it this one? Yes. Okay. So yeah, it's a bit tight this this aisle now, but it makes sense with the rest of the aisles. Uh, this aisle's fine. And I've got space over here for extra freezers. Um, and then we just need one more shelf, which we could probably put squeeze there. Uh, the extra, oh no. Switch this over this way. There we go. We have to put the shelf there, then get the three freezers here. That works. One's going to be a pizza freezer. So, have a look. Put the pizza freezer there. Put the next pizza freezer next to it. Oh, then we've got two more freezers. So do it like that. One more freezer there. One more freezer there. One more freezer there. One more shelf unit there, which we'll probably put sources on there. Sources there. Yeah, that'll sort that out. Anyway, uh, it's about time that we start getting everything restocked. Uh, so I'll let me get all that done while these restock everything. I'll restock the stock room and we'll be back in a few moments time. And we are back. Everything has been restocked. Uh, I've shuffled things about a bit more again. Um, yeah, everything is now fully restocked. The shop's now open. Uh, we're... I think we need about £500 more to pay off our $2,000 loan, which is then done. Um, we're going to need to buy one shelf, three freezers. And then we can get our next license, product license as well, which shouldn't take us too long at all. I could effectively just get a loan out and pay for it all now, but we'll get a bit two days we should have enough then after two days of running and we'll be able to get the new items on the shelves new new everything to be fair how much would everything be to be fair with the with the items so we need a double a double shelf a half half shelf um and then we want a bridge, bridger, yeah. Then we want one, two, three. So it's going to be one thousand four hundred just for the items. So instead of paying off the loan, we could purchase the items. Then that means we need to pay off the loan the next another day. How much is our license as well? 2,800. So we could just get a loan and get everything done tomorrow.
There we go. Yeah, I'm just gonna grab the five thousand dollar loan. I know, I know. I've said I'm not. Don't really want to pay loans, but if you're paying less than four fifty a day. Then that's fine. We're not going to purchase the items, right? We're going to purchase these items. Which is which? That's the shelf. We can just plonk that straight in. Go there. We'll just put these down as if they were they go where they're meant to go. One there, one there. And one there. Then we can look at buying all the items in the morning. And five. Yeah, we'll buy all the items in the morning. We've bought what we need. We'll get out of debt, and then we can start finally expanding the rest of the store with all that once we're out of debt. But obviously, the more items we get now, the more people will start coming into the store. So that'll be the pizza, that'll be the ice cream, that'll be the crab sticks. Yes. Gonna have the sauce next to the cereal because we can do. And then we definitely need to wait to expand the store to get everything else. Probably took that loan out a day early than I should have done. In fact, I'm going to do the thing that I've not done in a while. I'm going to be right down at the bottom of there. Purchase the item in the middle of the day. It's going to be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Three, four. And get one, two, three, four. Right. Pizza is going to go in that one. Get the price set. Eight dollars fifty. Get the got the pizza. Ice cream. Five dollars. Got all that in there. That's the ice cream again. I don't want the ice cream. Crab sticks. Ten dollars. Need to get the sauces on as well. So, get the price set uh, at four dollars. Ketchup set as three. Now I need not ketchup, I need mayo.
price set at ten dollars as well. Ten dollars for mail is expensive. Right. I should probably start get, getting people through the till. Well, that's everything new in and done before, well, during the middle of a work day. Which usually I don't do things like that, but I thought we've got the money, why not? Just didn't have anywhere to put everything in what's it called everything didn't have a space in here so I don't know where they might have put them okay so freezer wise it goes crab sticks there Crab sticks there. After crab sticks, it goes ice cream. Goes there. After ice cream, it goes pizza. Shelf items probably all went on the shelf. So we don't have any items for them, but I can sort that out tomorrow. I still pay that off early and I still have enough, which is good. Which means I can restock more items in the next day. We might have a few items that people missed because obviously I bought them and they didn't get them out straight away. And obviously, I might have overbought items as well. But anyway, that's the end of the day. Two items not found, which is not bad at all. Not bad at all. Eggs and milk. And then eggs, which eggs... Ooh, that's a very nice profit on those eggs. Yeah, let me get things restocked. Um, and then we'll go from there. And we're back. Let's open the store. Everything is fully restocked. Uh, outside and inside. We still have a bit overstock of um, frozen items, but there's nothing really we could do much about that. Um, but yeah, everything's going well. Certain items don't seem to be getting restocked on this side, which is not good. Just make sure these two, there we go. Because it is one of those items that gets stocked, uh, that goes out of stock very quickly. And our first customer comes to our sale perfect for one item. But it is $10 for a mayonnaise, which is absolutely insane pricing for mayonnaises. Like, I'd spend a couple of quid, at most, maybe, uh, for mayonnaise. Yeah. Anyway. Customers are starting to come through the shop. Our first full day with new items. And we had to take a loan out to actually do some restocking as well, which is not good. So we'll see how things go. Everything is just going very quick now with the... Uh, should have more customers in. Or we should be getting a lot more spending... Uh, customers spending a lot more money. We'll see how things go. 
Interesting combination, mayonnaise and peanut butter. Or peanut butter than mayonnaise, I don't know what you're making out of that, but... Interesting combination, breakfast. Green tea, coffee and cereal, makes sense. You've, you've got the milk. So, if you come back round, we can get the milk. It's over there, if you want the UHT. Oh, you're getting the rest of the breakfast, and you're getting the lunch as well. Oh, that makes more sense. Okay. First person was buying the breakfast, you were getting the rest of the breakfast and the lunch. Split the, split the money, split the costs. But yeah, uh, we ended up having to take out another loan, just so uh, I could restock the stock room correctly, even with the new items. Um, but we don't have any payments left to do now. Obviously, we'll have the payments in the morning, which would be two bank loans and the bills for the electric. But apart from that, everything should be pretty good. Everything's pretty much lined up correctly. Uh, Price-wise as well. Salt and tea. Don't know what you're doing with salt and tea. That's uh, an interesting combination. You're meant to get sugar for tea, not salt. Um, then again, I never know. Everyone has weird habits and uh, tastes and likes. Not here to look down on anyone who does uh, have weird habits. Or that I would classify as weird habits. There we go. You've got pasta, sugar, eggs, mayo. Oh, I don't know what you're making with all that. Either way, you can make a nice meal. Two pizzas and some orange juice. Not bad at all. Oh, this is more like it. A nice big shop. I know they're working on self-checkouts as well, so that'll be an interesting one. And then we'll get flagged to do the self-checkout things. Our next unlock is actually alcohol. So we definitely need to get the next corner unlocked to be able to get the alcohol um, situation all sorted. Um, yeah, we'll get to that when we get to that. But like I say... Our main thing now is just getting our bills all paid off and then saving up as much as we can to get the next unlocks. And I want to try and get away from the culture of us just constantly getting a bank loan after bank loan. Because it doesn't really help at the end of the day. We're spending more money repaying the loan than we are making profit because if we just keep making profit and we save up to buy it then that's a lot better for us in the long run might be longer to get to but it means it's quicker it's more money in our pocket okay 65.25 there we go And A2.25, perfect. Welcome into my till, of course. You've got the new ice cream. The only new item you've got with you. Let's go and get that light on. You're about to tell before another customer comes around. And a lot of chocolate and cakes. Okay. Fourteen. Three, five, there we go. This will probably be the last day of this episode. So I do the usual after the episode. I will be like uh, um, signing off the episode uh, after the day. I'm signing off the episode, finishing the day, making sure everything's restocked, making sure everything's restocked in the stock room. And uh, once everything's restocked in the stock room, we can then look at uh, if we can pay off the bank loans and stuff as well. But we probably can't at the moment because we're only at three thousand. 
We'll be able to pay off any bills, which is a definite. And then from that, we'll be ready for our next episode, which will be next week. I hope you're all enjoying the, oh, during the series. I'm enjoying playing it. Especially now we've got a reasonable update. Which means they can, the stock people can now take the stock from the floor, which is just easier. We just literally sit down and wait for everything to get done in the morning. Uh, once we all the, once everything's restarts, we they go out front. Then we order everything. Um, yeah, we just need to get another person to start doing all that because then it's uh, less time that it takes us to do it, or, or less time that we have to sit and wait. But either way, it's very good. We do have a very big, steep learning curve now to get the next uh, unlock. Um, which I will hopefully try and save up enough to do so. Obviously, we've got to look at paying off our our loans first. Keeping the day-to-days running smoothly. And once that's everything's going good, we can look at obviously getting the next thing. Uh, the next unlock, the next area, and go from there, re realistically. Got our last few customers going through the tills, got one still shopping for some frozen items. Are you going to come over to my till? Oh no, you're still shopping. Okay, that's, that, that's fine. Got our stock workers working, putting stock out, taking old box or empty boxes to the bin. And of course, you join the other tail. That's that's okay. Um, oh, the reflections of hair is different. I'm not that I've noticed. One more to go through. Annoying that this is a separate one, but let's have a look how the stock room's looking. Not bad, to be fair. There is items that go very quickly, but obviously. That is expected. We could probably pay off this loan. We'll still stay. We still have three two thousand start the next day. And yeah, so that's going to be the end of this episode. Let me go through fifty nine customers, one hundred one thousand five hundred profit. Tea, soda, yogurt, cheese. Tea, soda, yogurt, cheese. Tea, soda, yogurt. Is tea, soda, yogurt, and finally cheese. Which cheese? That cheese. There we go. Uh, that should be 4.5. There we go. That's everything there. I'm going to let everything get restocked. Uh, if you've enjoyed, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Hit the notification bell as well to be notified every time we post a new video. And with that all being said and done, I hope you have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you next time for the next video.